first! One thing the television programs love to flaunt are their firsts. Historic firsts are always likely to draw the big audiences, the excited sponsors, and propel the state of broadcasting into big new beautiful directions. Some production teams yearn to be the first when it comes to making groundbreaking television. Others know that there is the distinct possibility that their first could end the careers of everyone involved. So let's go in a whole new direction here, folks. The following is a list of 10 controversial television firsts. Three major disclaimers before I begin. Number one, this is by no means a ranked list. These are not in any level of importance. Two, some of the items on this list could be debatable as there really is no black and white right or wrong to any of the items on this list. So I will try to use the words appears to be instead of it is as there's plenty of room for arguing over individual moments. And three, this is high risk and controversial moments. So it should go without saying, but this video is designated for mature audiences only. You might want to put the kids to bed a little early for this one, please and thank you. And now, the list. Number 10, the first television show, The Queen's Messenger, 1928. Let's start with something that barely gets to be called controversial, but was still a major moment in TV history. In 1928, the first TV broadcast of an adaptation of the one-act play The Queen's Messenger by J. Hartley Manners was aired. The only reason that this show makes the list is because the idea of new media has always been kind of scary to those you're in competition with and are already well established, such as radio, stage performances, and movies. Remember, vaudeville was kind of on the edge at this point. So if you were lucky enough to have a 3-inch television display nearby, you would be dazzled by the groundbreaking broadcast. Number 9. The First Toilet Leave it to Beaver, 1957. Even though this episode had nothing to do with the actual act of using the bathroom and more to do with keeping a pet alligator moist, the network originally refused to air the episode but made a compromise that was made to show the tank of the toilet instead of the entirety of a toilet. Think about that. Something that exists in every house couldn't be shown on TV for the fear of offending viewers. Toilet humor wouldn't even become a regular source of comedy until the late 1980s, and even then is just simply not considered a wise use of storytelling. The whole thing is pretty crappy if you ask me. Number 8. The First On-Air Pregnancy, Mary Kay and Johnny, 1948. Several years before I Love Lucy, the Dumont Network sitcom Mary Kay and Johnny, a real-life married couple, was considered the first program to show a pregnant woman on TV, as well as the first show to have a married couple sleeping in the same bed. Hard to believe that considering only a few years later, the main couple on I Love Lucy, Lucy and Desi, slept in separate beds and never once used the word pregnancy because of its supposed sinful nature, using euphemisms like expecting and with child instead. The earliest version I can find of the use of the word pregnant is from the Dick Van Dyke Show in 1962, where the word is used to describe a woman's cat. So cats can be pregnant, but not humans. Okay. Moving on to hardcore nudity. Number 7. The first nudity on television in the United States. Mash and Steam Bath, 1973. The first instances of both male and female nudity appear to have occurred in the same year, 1973. In an episode of MASH titled The Sniper, Radar went to go check out a sniper who was chasing him around while he was wearing a towel, and as he runs back inside the showers, the towel comes off, and for a mere split second, the bare ass of Gary Berghoff, ladies and gentlemen. Oddly enough, the first possible female nude scene happened the same year with a televised production of the play Steam Bath starring Valerie Perrine. Then it wouldn't really be addressed on terrestrial TV until years later when NYPD Blue showed up saying, You thought MASH was vulgar? Hold my beer. 
Number 6. The first honest lingerie ads in the United States, Playtex, 1987. This one might blow up your skirt. Until 1987, underwear ads on television did not feature the models wearing the product that they were selling. The product was held up or displayed in such a way that it was not actually worn by the person speaking of them. Not until 1987 did the first Playtex commercial featuring models wearing the lingerie in their intended way appeared. Imagine the Victoria's Secret fashion show happening without the models wearing what they were promoting. That would just be really strange. Number 5. The first scripted female-to-female lip-lock kiss, L.A. Law, 1991. CJ and Abby are saying goodnight with some rather noticeable sexual tension between the two. There's a very small kiss, and as happens, everything ends super awkwardly. There you have the first two women kissing on terrestrial television. The show itself really was kind of a big deal, so this scene was also kind of a big deal. Now, some sponsors pulled out, but they were quickly replaced. As for the phone calls that came in, about half were supportive. The other half, not so much. Number four, the first scripted male-male lip lock kiss. That 70s show, 1998. Although there had been gay male characters on television by the time L.A. Law happened, it would take another seven years until men would kiss in a scripted format. The first scripted male kiss appeared to be from a 1998 episode of That 70s Show, where Eric's friend Buddy, played by the great Joseph Gordon-Levitt, kisses him in the car after a moment of Eric lamenting he forgot to call Donna. This predates the much more notable Dawson's Creek kiss by about a year and a half. It took seven years until network television was ready to take the steps of having males kissing, proving that the stigma was still very real. Number three. Am I at three? Number three. The first scripted use of an obscene word. Chicago Hope, 1999. It was on this show that Mark Harmon's character uses the first ever scripted use of the word shit on terrestrial television by uttering the phrase, shit happens. Of course, this clearly had a huge effect on Mark Harmon's career thereafter. Number two, the first time the word period is said on TV, Tampax, 1985. This would be a set of commercials featuring the one and only Courtney Cox bucking the trend of using that time of the month, that time, and the really bizarre crimson wave to disguise what is a period. Something that is a very natural part of human nature, but is still considered very taboo. Think about it. You could flush a toilet, but you couldn't even say the word period in a strictly anatomical context. But if you ever need more reason to love Courtney Cox that doesn't involve Bruce Springsteen or Ace Ventura Pet Detective, here you go. And number one, the first condom commercial, Trojan, 1975. As early as the 70s, Trojan had produced and aired locally targeted condom commercials in California. But it wasn't until 1991 when a 15 second ad was aired during the Fox sitcom Herman's Head. This came very shortly after Magic Johnson's admission to potentially having AIDS. Networks decided that it was time to stop tiptoeing the line of offending some viewers and air what could be life-saving safe sex techniques. And now, where would we be without Trojan Man? Or for that matter, where would we be without Herman's Head? Actually, I think we could all survive without Herman's Head. And that is my list. If you enjoyed this different kind of content from what I normally do, please leave a comment below, leave a message. And while I have your attention, I just want to say thank you all so much. I have reached 500 subscribers. I never imagined that my channel would ever get even more than 30 at any point in time. So I've hit 500. It's all because of you. Thank you all so much. Hope you love what you're watching. And I hope to keep making more of these videos for you in the near future. So until next time, I say, help control the pet population, have your pets spayed and neutered. Goodbye, everybody.